Hello and welcome to TCC Team Nicaragua. I'm Ed Taylor, Assistant Professor of Broadcast Journalism at TCC. Tulsa Community College has offered service learning trips to Nicaragua through our Global Education Department for five years now. Our partner there is Just Hope, a nonprofit organization that just happens to be based here in Tulsa. The nursing program was the first to partner with Just Hope. Our dental hygiene program followed the next year, providing teeth cleaning and dental care education. I've taken some journalism students down, and the music department is now providing fine arts camps at some of the elementary schools uh, near Chakra Seca, Nicaragua. Today, we're talking about our nursing program and its involvement in Nicaragua. And joining me is Linda Lyons Coyle, newly associate professor of nursing here at TCC at the Southeast Campus. And we have two students with us. That's Mandy Coe, nearest uh, Linda, and Reese Hollenbeck also is here. And I want to thank you all uh, for joining me today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Linda, let's start just a little bit with you. Uh, just how you got involved in uh, bringing nursing students to Nicaragua. Oh, uh, well, we've been going to Nicaragua now for six years. We just finished our sixth trip. Before that, uh, the Global Ed Department had asked if a nursing faculty was interested in participating in a study abroad, and I was selected, and we went to Ecuador for three years. It was a troika with three other community colleges, and it was a, a very good trip. The things the students kept saying was, though, they wish they had more hands-on. After our three-year contract had expired with the Troika, I uh, approached our Dean of Global Education and said, I'm interested in doing one myself. And he said he knew the right person, Leslie Penrose, with Just Hope. And he got us together. And I told her what I would like to do. And she got it together for us. And it's been going ever since then. And, and uh, enthusiastically, I might yes, say. You yes, always very have so. very large trips yes. going down there. We had there. 15 this year that went. Wow. Now, I've only had the opportunity, uh, Santa Amelia and LaFleur are two small communities near Matagalpa, which is uh, in, kind of in central Nicaragua, and it's up in the rainforest. Can you kind of uh, talk a little bit about uh, that area for us? Yes, actually, that's probably one of my favorite <coughs> areas, and I know usually the students, that's one of their favorite areas, too. From Managua, it's about a three-hour van ride there, mm -hmm. and we go from being in a city really hot and kind of flat up into the mountains and the greenery and the rainforest and we stay in little casitas up there mm -hmm. and uh, here's some of the produce yes. there's a uh, produce stand that, yes. uh, that you do a little uh, mm -hmm. uh, project with and all the uh, all the students get to learn how to make tortillas yes that's <laughs> making tortillas there they got up at five that morning to make tortillas for us yep. and it's a lot harder than <laughs> it looks to do. <laughs> this is one of your uh, clinics, it looks like. Is it? Uh, I'm, yes. I'm assuming that's up there. Yes, this is a clinic in Santa Amelia, and we had over 249 uh, people that we saw that day, and it was the largest we've ever seen in about an eight hour period of time. There's the casitas that yes, you were talking the, about those earlier. Those are the casitas, and that's. Uh, uh, co old coffee plantation. Well, it still is a coffee plantation, and we stay there. It's off season, so we are able to bunk there. We have a bed and mosquito net. It's it's fairly primitive. We the geckos kind of sleep with us, but <laughs> we usually have running water. This year we did not have running water. Oh. So, uh, but it's still it's always an adventure. And it's there's beautiful. a reason why they call it a rainforest. Yes, it's because it rains almost every day. Yeah. This is uh, it was up on a hill, and uh, this is a clinic from two years ago. Yes. Uh, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it's amazing. And I want to ask the students a little bit about this too. Uh, have you seen 249 students the entire first year here at Tulsa Community College? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is that a little overwhelming when you first see all these people coming towards I, you? Absolutely. Yeah, it was overwhelming to say the least. I mean, because we're first year nursing students, so we we didn't really know what we were doing. You know, we were just getting our feet wet. And um, at, at the beginning, it was really nerve wracking and it was overwhelming because there's so many people there. And I mean, we, we really, we know the basics, the very basics. And so, but by, I would say mid afternoon, we kind mm -hmm. of got our groove mm -hmm. and, and we were doing great. And I learned so much there. It was, uh, it was a fantastic opportunity, a learning opportunity. 
What about you, Reese? What, when you started seeing all those people walking up? You know, just like with everything, I think I'd, um, I do handle it one person at a time. And like Mandy already alluded to, um, once we got into our system, our team system, um, it flowed beautifully. And the, the culture, I can't say enough about the respectful culture, and, and, and they just waited. And you would never know that they'd been waiting, you know, some for four hours or more. So um, it was a, a wonderful experience. Tell me a little bit just about uh, being in the rainforest itself, just uh, the vegetation and things like that. Any thoughts about that? It's beautiful. It's, it's very, it was unlike what I thought going into it. I didn't realize how beautiful it was going to be in that area. You know, I'm just thinking it's impoverished and, and dry and, you know, we get there and it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, the, the, Plantation was really neat to stay at, and um, yeah, I just, it was a great experience. I loved it. Mm -hmm. so at night you sleep with the monkeys, the yeah. howler monkeys, and <laughs> the frogs, right. and all the noises, yeah. all the yeah. and animals. Uh, and I, I'm a coffee drinker, and so it was a coffee plantation, so that was my favorite part, besides the, the, the rainforest climate, um, was the coffee. It was the best I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And I guess they they make it right there at, mm -hmm. for the morning. So yes, it, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, uh, I I loved uh, that, and also uh, uh, having the opportunity to really kind of eat the cuisine of, of Nicaragua. And it's not <laughs> like we've decided to bring our, our all of our food down there ourselves, but you actually eat what's what's being served to the Nicaraguans. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rice and beans and tortilla, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, every meal. <laughs> yeah, the best fruit that we've ever yes, had. Yes, we oh, have. Yeah. The yeah. picture you showed, we stop on our way in to the vegetable vendors, and we pick out vegetables and fruits to supplement our rice and beans. But it is the freshest and the best fruit and vegetables we've ever had. What, I, what always amazed me, uh, uh, especially that, that fruit stand right there, that vegetable and fruit stand, what, how vivid all the colors were. They're, they're just so, the carrots were so orange and everything was so green. And so big, the carrots yeah. are huge. Yeah. yeah. You saw that uh, uh, picture of that hydrangea and you really couldn't yeah. see it, but it's about the size of two hands. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. the vegetation up there is, it's, uh, it's very lush and everything is, is really healthy, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that, uh, that kind of covers what our nursing program is doing up in the rainforest. We're going to be right back to talk about the work being done in Chakra Seca. It's a small farming community near Leon, Nicaragua. Hello and welcome back to TCC Team Nicaragua. We're talking with nursing professor Linda Lyons-Coyle and two of her students, Mandy Coe and Reese Hollenbeck. We've kind of talked about being up in the rainforest, but we didn't really talk about um, being in La Flor. That, that proves to be kind of an interesting uh, vicinity to get to. Yes, it is. It's very rural. It's up on a mountain top, and there's no way up the mountain except for walking or hiking up the mountain. These um, people that live up in this community, to build their houses, they all had to carry up their poles, the cinder blocks and all that by hand. It's about a quarter to a half mile up a mountain. We cross a swinging bridge with a waterfall. It's uh, <laughs> very isolated and you could easily get lost, but uh, it's very worth it because they have no health resources up there. And there's about 300 people that live in this community. Okay, and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the, the kind of things that uh, the students have the opportunity to do in the clinics. Um, the other area that uh, Just Hope works in uh, is a small farming community. Uh, called Chakra Seca, and it's l located just east of Leon, Nicaragua, mm -hmm. which is uh, Nicaragua's second largest city. Uh, let's talk just a little bit, um, Linda, about uh, what the students are doing in these clinics. Okay. Well, in the clinics in Chakra Seca, they actually have a clinic there on site that is run by Mensa. They do get some money, and then Just Hope also helps to sponsor that clinic. It's a smaller clinic they've built onto it. The students can go in and they will help greet the person coming in, see what their chief complaint is, assess them in anything they may need to do, dispense medicines or whatever they may have to do. And they'll work hand in hand at that clinic with the physician and the nurse also that's present there. What about the, the clinics that you guys hold uh, uh, out in the uh, various areas? In the Some community. of the things that mm -hmm. you guys are doing there, What what... What were some of the things that you had the opportunity to, to do? 
Um, I think I got to practice a lot of uh, or do uh, head to toe assessments or more, I guess, specialized assessments um, for people. I did a lot of blood pressures. Um, we did uh, glucose readings. Um, you know, we just got to, to listen to the heart's lung sounds and stuff like that and just mm -hmm. kind of see what their chief complaints are and, and go from there. Maybe consult with, with another nurse or um, Nurse Marvin mm -hmm. um, who was there and um, just kind of Reese, this is a good experience for you, not the kind of thing that you get to do at school. Absolutely. Uh, some of the things that you, you were able to do during these clinics. Probably just to add on what Mandy said, you do the head to toe assessments, you know, listen to uh, the heart, the lungs. Um, I actually got to hear my first heart murmur. And so that was, um, that was all, that was, I mean, awesome for lack of a better word. Um, uh, but, but it was an amazing experience. And each year it's a little bit different. The students have done everything from giving immunizations to rabies shots. We had a young man before that was bit by a dog and we got to help suture him up and then give him a rabies shot. Uh, they've actually got to go in with pregnant women and help to manipulate the baby and listen to the baby's heartbeat. They have done wound care on the clients before. So it's a wide variety of things the students have got to do before. I'm always amazed. Um, and how many people show up at these clinics? Oh, how do they know about it? Yeah, well, I, once word gets out, I know when we first started in Santa Amelia, we had probably about 50 people waiting in line. And then we said we had to break to eat our rice and beans at lunchtime. And I looked out and there's still probably over 100 people in line. And I said, we'll be back. I promise we'll be back. And instead of leaving, as they said, some had been there for four or five hours. They waited. And then the hugs they give you, the appreciation they give you, it just, it, it warms your heart and changes you as a person taking care of them. But word gets out, they head back, hey, I've got some vitamins, I got some Tylenol, you know, they did this for me. And uh, we rinsed out some eyes, did things like that. So it's, they hear about it and they all start literally coming out of the mountains to come down. <laughs> they really do. And I've found that um, it just seems like um, they're so appreciative that, that we care enough to, to be there and to, to take time out of our schedules and money uh, that, mm -hmm. that's involved in there. But they're very grateful people, it seems like to me. Did yeah. you find that to be true? Yeah, um, everywhere we went, I found that to be true, but especially in LaFleur when we hiked up and we saw half their community, we, they fed us lunch, um, you know, at, after the clinic was over. And um, we met with- um, My Ling. Yeah, My Ling, and she, you know, she told everybody there that she, how grateful she was for us to be there and that, she, you know, for us to take our time away from our families and to come to a different country to, to care for their people, it was, um, it was overwhelming to her. And um, she said, she told us all that she hoped that we consider um, Nicaragua our second home. And I thought that was really sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, this particular trip, you had the opportunity to work with some uh, doctors from uh, OSU? Mm -hmm. OSU, Dr. Stanley Grog and his wife, Barbara, they uh, take a group of medical students twice a year there. And this year we went with, we met up with them for one day. Half of the team or two thirds of the team went out into a community in Chakra Seca and did an open clinic. And then a small group of us, about six of us actually went to the prison in Leon. Yeah, you were saying, uh is that a trip you're gonna make again, Linda? Uh, 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 it, it was uh, a very interesting, probably once in a lifetime experience. I don't yeah. know that I'll do it again. It, it was good. It was just the conditions. I thought we had overcrowding in our prisons here. It, it was horrendous conditions there mm. to see human beings living the way these, these men and women have to live in this prison is unbelievable. The prisoners themselves were very appreciative of our service and of our care though, they were very nice. Let's, uh, we've kind of, since we kind of brought, brought it up, but um, you're, you're involved with some side trips. You don't just go to these clinics, mm -hmm. but, but uh, you've gone to the hospital and uh, other places, the orphanage. Mm -hmm. uh, can, can mm -hmm. we talk a little bit about mm -hmm. those? Well, I think it's important that students see clients from birth to death. So we do go to a nutrition center. We also go to a nursing home in Leon and we see the Leon Hospital. Would y'all like to tell about either any of those experiences? What sure. you did? Probably the, the nursing home probably was my, my favorite over the hospital. Um, just to, again, 
um, dive deep into that culture, into into in, into the um, the older citizens, and they're they're just like just like our uh, older citizens back home. Of course, the nursing homes are a lot different. Um, they're open open air, you know, no air conditioning. Um, but um, it, it was an amazing experience. I can't say enough about the nursing home. Mm -hmm. What about you, Mandy? I love the nursing home, too. Um, the hospitals, though, that was um, pretty eye-opening for me. Um, you know, hospitals here, I know that a lot of people think they have it bad, but <laughs> have them go go to the hospitals in, in Nicaragua and they'll think twice. Um, you know, there's a lot, it's just the conditions are so different and there's o even overcrowding, I think, in the mm -hmm. hospitals, in a yeah. hospital room. We're used to having a hospital room to ourselves. Um, I think we walked in a hospital room and there was four patients in one room mm -hmm. that we would normally consider. Usually have about eight in a room. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and that that was um, uh, mothers who had just had newborns. So mm -hmm. that was just different and there wasn't, you know, there wasn't, um, there's not HIPAA there. So the doctors <laughs> that were there were really encouraging us to take pictures and yeah. we were like, no, this is not right. Yeah. So of course we didn't do that, but yeah. It was just, it was really eye-opening to see how the different cultures are, you know, here in, in, and in the United, or in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Uh, Dr. Paul Stafford from mm -hmm. uh, St. John uh, took his surgical team mm -hmm. down there, and I got to be in a surgery oh, wow. in, in, the, in the room with mm -hmm. them. Uh, and you're right, there's no HIPAA. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. They would have cut us off at the door and told us <laughs> yeah. some other time, yeah. but yeah, yeah, we just walked right in and I mean, we dressed up for the mm -hmm. for yeah. surgical room and everything, but uh, it was it was pretty interesting to just the health care and how um, defined mm -hmm. ours is and, and mm -hmm. it's a little, little looser yeah. down in the And seeing right. pigeons there in the, yeah. in the, in the rooms with them and their open ceiling, the tiles have fallen down and, and their resources are amazing. But it's always interesting looking at the nursing staff there. They're in the crisp white yeah. uniforms with the white hats. They are so clean looking and it's so hot and miserable mm -hmm. in there, but they always look so professional. Now, um, Tell me a little bit more about these side trips. Why is that uh, in particularly important to, to uh, for the students? Well, they work so hard. I, I work them hard. We get up at five or six in the morning and we go till about nine at night. Uh, my thought is some students uh, have never ever traveled before, never been on an airplane, never been in the United States, so let's get the most we can get done while we're there. So the last day we c save that for them to go see the culture in a different aspect. Instead of taking care of patients, we're getting to relax and get out of our scrubs, because we wear scrubs for seven, eight days while we're there, and go see different things. One of the favorite things, the morning of the nursing home is always a very hard day, because we have to be there before six in the morning. But that day, I always, in the afternoon, we go to the beach, take them to a beautiful beach, and have dinner at the beach, and actually have real food, fresh fish <laughs> with the head on it and all that. <laughs> So, and then our last day, we have what they call Gringo Day. You all want to say something about Gringo Day, what yeah, we got to do? I think we have video of some Yeah, Gringo of that. Day was fun. Uh -huh. it, was, it was just a chance to break out from, from what I would consider s sad conditions and just kind of get to have some, some fun. We, mm -hmm. had, you know, we went to um, the volcano, which was fun. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see anything because it was smoking <laughs> right. when we were there. I've, but, I've been to that volcano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it was, it was a neat yeah. yeah. experience. Yeah, yeah, and that's us on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the beach. It was gorgeous. Black sand beaches. Yeah. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Those those rocks right there at that point just kind of set it all off, yeah. I think. But it's such a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Now, did you get a chance to go to Messiah and to the market down there? Or? Oh, yeah. Yes. We did. Matter of fact, the, um, of course, I think they do it every year, but um, that they go. But the, the family, they visit one family, Just Hope does, and Linda. Um, but they invite us in for lunch, and mm -hmm. that was that, that was one of my favorite meals. They invite us into their home, and we sat around a big table, um, and it was yeah that was amazing. the pottery family, the ones That's that made right. the pottery. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the volcano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've been up to that volcano too. I, I think it's very interesting on the um, uh, concrete there. They say park backwards mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have to leave. <laughs> Quick exit. You yeah. can leave in a hurry, yeah. but. Uh, I, I find it kind of amazing, that, you know, just, I mean, look at that. There's no rail around it or anything. Mm -hmm. You just kind of yep. walk up there. And they, I think they trust that you have good sense not to want to jump into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to sacrifice any of our students. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, know, they might be ready to sacrifice me sometimes. No comment. <laughs> well, um, 
I, that's all I have. Do y'all have anything that you'd like to add about the, mm -hmm. about the trip? Or? Well, I always just appreciate TCC's support of letting us do study abroad. I think it's one of the best ways that our students can learn mm -hmm. and give back, and it's a, a great service learning uh, experience for our students. And I think they all come back changed from doing it. And I have a number of students have gone more than one year with me. They yeah. like it so much. I know the uh, the first time I went was to, to go with you and, and the dental hygiene mm -hmm. students. and. Uh, our, our Dean of Global Ed asked me to go just kind of document what we're doing and now I've been, I just finished my sixth trip yeah. this time so, yeah. uh, and you, you get to be such fast friends with those folks down yeah. there. Did yeah. you guys find that to be true? Absolutely. They're so friendly. They're, they're just, they're, hum they're humble mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I really enjoyed everyone that I met there. I'm actually friended a lot of people on Facebook yeah. still, so yeah, I still I've got, I've keep, in, keep in touch with Juan Pablo, and um, yeah, I, I hope to go back, and I think if I see their faces again, they'll mm -hmm. they'll uh, be happy to see us mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's a nice thing, going and seeing these little kids after being there six years, and now they're yeah, teenagers, yeah, getting to yeah. see them grow up. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's been two years for me, but even then, that you know, some of the kids, you can see mm -hmm. that they've gotten bigger, or uh, some of the women will have a new baby yeah. or, or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. So life goes on. And um, Reese, do you have any closing thoughts about uh, about your trip? And I think probably uh, the only things I would add is that um, Linda, part of our traveling abroad, had asked us to submit three goals um, as part of our assignment, and um, every single one of those, of mine anyway, were more than fulfilled. Um, and so uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. So. Do it again? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Yep. I know you will. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. I've already set the dates for next year. I've already got them set. Yeah. Anybody's welcome to join us. Mm -hmm. All right. Be looking for it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all very much for, uh, for sharing your time with us today. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank you for watching the Creativity Channel. Be watching for two other TCC Team Nicaragua programs, one with our fine art team and one with our dental hygiene team. See you again soon.